Today we're going to be finding the shortest distance between a line and a point. Now you know that if we have two points, let me first draw the Cartesian coordinate, the Cartesian plane. If we have two points on this plane, the shortest distance between those two points is a straight line. That would be the shortest distance. And to find the shortest distance, you'll need to form a right triangle and then use the Pythagorean theorem in the form of distance formula to find the shortest distance. Now to find the shortest distance between a point and a line is a little bit more complicated, but the concept is the concept is simple. So let's have a point right there. Actually, let me put a point somewhere around here. And let me draw a line like goes like that. Okay, and this point is going to give this 11, 11, 2, coordinates 11 and 2. And the equation of this red line is going to be y equals negative 2x plus 4. And we're trying to find the shortest distance between this line and this point. And the basic concept behind this is, I think you'll remember from geometry, the shortest distance between a line and a point will be a, a, a line that is perpendicular to the, to the original line. So basically what we need to do is we need to find this line that is perpendicular to the red line, but that goes through that blue point. And once we find the equation of this green line, so let me write the steps here. First find the perpendicular perpendicular line that goes through goes through the point. In this case that point is 11 2. And next, once we find the equation of that line, we'll need to find what this point is right here. And that point is the intersection point of the two lines. So the second step would be find the intersection point. And once we found the intersection point, then we can use the distance formula to find the distance between that point and the blue line. Okay, we'll use the distance formula to find, oops, to find our final distance. So the, these are the steps that we're going to be taking. It's the concept itself is not hard, but the calculation could be a little bit tedious, but we'll go through this calculation in this example. So first let's find the uh, equation of the line of the green line. The green line needs to be perpendicular to the red line, meaning the slope will have to be the red lines slope is negative two. So the slope of the green line will have to be the negative reciprocal of that. So it'll have to be one half. And using the point slope form, it'll have to go through 11, 2. So y minus 2 equals 1 half times x minus 11. Okay, so this is the equation of the green line. If we simplify that, y minus 2 equals 1 half x minus 11 half and y is going to equal 1 half x, 11 half is 
5 and 1 half. If we add 2 to that, it's going to be 3 and 1 half. So minus 3 and 1 half. Okay. Or you can write the minus 3 and 1 half as minus 7 halves. Okay, so there's our equation for the green line. Okay, next what we need to do is we need to find this intersection point. This intersection point. So the red line is y equals negative 2x plus 4. The green line is y equals 1 half x minus 7 halves. And we can set, because this equals y and that also equals y, we can set those two equal to each other. Negative 2x plus 4 equals 1 half x minus 7 halves. And if you're not comfortable working with fractions, you can multiply the whole thing by 2 to get rid of the fraction. Then you'll get negative 4x plus 8 will equal x minus 7. Okay, so let's move things or let's move um, the 4x over here and the 7 over there. So that's going to be 8 plus 7 is 15. It's going to equal 5x. So x is going to equal 3. So that point right there, x is 3. And we can plug in 3 into either of these two equations to get the y value. Let's put the 3 on the top one. That's going to be negative 6 plus 4. That's going to be 3 and negative 2. Okay, so we found the intersection point. We've done step one, we've done step two, and finally we just use the distance formula between these two points to find the distance. Okay, so that's the square root of 11 minus 3 squared plus 2 minus, minus negative 2, so 2 plus 2 squared. That's going to be the distance. Distance will equal the square root. 11 minus 3 is 8. 8 squared is 64. And then we have 4 squared here. 16. So the distance is going to be square root of 80, which simplifies to 4 square root of 5. So that is the shortest distance. 4 square root of 5 is the shortest distance between this point and this line. Okay, so it, it, in, it involves a few more steps than uh, when you are finding the shortest dis distance between two points. But the concept is basically you need to find the equation of the perpendicular line first, find the intersection point of that perpendicular line and the original line, and then finally use the distance formula to find the shortest distance between that point and that line.